Well, the Colorado Governor's Art Show is one of the largest fine art shows to exclusively feature Colorado artists. And you can attend this year and purchase some art with heart. Well, with us on the Coco Couch is show director Ruth Scott and 2023 Artists' Choice and Award of Merit winner Crystal Despain. Hello, ladies. It's good to have you. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Absolutely. Ruth, tell me all about the Governor's Art Show. Well, like you said, this is our 32nd year, and that's a pretty big deal for sure. an art show. Um, we have people coming from all over the country just to see this show, to see our wonderful Colorado artists, because uh, Colorado artists, you can't hardly beat. I mean, we've got the mm -hmm. most talented artists in this state right here. Yes, we do. Go Colorado. Now, Ruth, why do you call it Art with Heart? Well, the reason being is that we're a nonprofit organization. Okay. And with one third of the net proceeds, it goes to the Thompson Education Foundation, which Love it. really keeps kids in school. And then the clubs also award art scholarships. So uh, since 2016, we've donated over $100,000 to that organization. That is wonderful, Ruth, and I'm so happy to hear, did you say 32 years and still going strong? Still going strong. Yeah, there's a reason for that. It's, it's, it's a great event. Now, I want to talk to you, Crystal, because you won two awards. I mean, that's got to feel good for your work. What was that like? I'm, uh, it was... I'm so grateful for it, really. Yeah. Like, it was really exciting. It was a little surprising, but to be honored, especially um, by my peers, I, that's, that's really a special thing. It really is. And when you've got a talent like that and you're able to express through art, I think that is so fabulous. Now, what did you win? What do these awards mean? Okay, so the, um, the award of merit was, mm -hmm. uh, there was several of them, and they were just basically um, saying it wasn't the... It wasn't the um, like the top award, but it was basically like, hey, these is a collection of good paintings, yeah. right? And then, but then the one that I found out that I won later was the artist choice, which was really special to me because that meant that the other artists in the show had all voted my particular painting their favorite. So okay, that's that, got to feel that good, was, right? That felt very good. <laughs> it's like being recognized by other talents out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, how long have you been painting and what's your inspiration? I also want you to tell us about the painting that you have brought with oh, you today. Oh, absolutely. Um, I have been painting about, well, about 20 years, but the last 10 years, I think I really focused in on opportunities to work under some really renowned artists and mm -hmm. I think that's where the education really started helping me come into my own as an artist yeah um, this particular painting is actually of my sweet niece oh so she's lovely she is this fierce oh. little girl and I have to apologize to her because I was supposed to wear a purple dress today oh my god I didn't have one did you really wait at her request yes at oh her request. my gosh so. I love this yeah. well that is absolutely beautiful to be able to paint a person a child like that to make it look so real and it's just wonderful Ruth if we wanted to buy something like that can we do so can we buy art from the show Absolutely. Uh, you can go to our website and you can purchase anything, except if it's got a red dot, that means that it's already been sold. Okay. But um, no, you can go to our website or we would really prefer you to come to the show and really see it in person because you, you just can't beat it. It's, it's yeah. one of the most beautiful shows we have everyone is saying it's just the most beautiful show they've ever seen. Really? How do you select the artists? Well, how we select them is our board always chooses five uh, jurors mm -hmm. and it usually pertains to uh, artists we have museum curators and we also have professors of art and mm. so with a formula like that you just can't really go wrong you can't go wrong absolutely not tell us about special events during the show oh well, I'm glad you asked that because mm -hmm. on June 3rd Saturday June 3rd from noon to 3 we have it's we call it an afternoon with Daniel Sprick Okay. And we're going to have 14 artists in the museum painting live, and Crystal is included in oh that. Oh my gosh, so it's, how cool. It's, it really is. I mean, it's going to be a spectacular event, so I really hope you come and see it. 
I would love to. And how fun is that, Crystal? I mean, what an opportunity, not just for spectators, but for the artists as well. Okay, for people wanting to learn more, maybe artists out there, what's the best way to connect? Um, well, they can go to our website and, and connect right there. Uh, we won't open up the jury process until probably August if, okay. if an artist is interested in applying for the 2024 show. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will have that available in August. In August, okay. And now this show, this event goes all the way through June the 11th, so there's still that is time correct. to get out there. And what are the, what are the hours? Uh, well, the museum, if they go to the Loveland Museum's website, it will okay. have the hours because okay. they do have different uh, hours for different days. Okay. They are closed on Mondays. They are closed on Mondays. Still time to go check it all out. And Crystal, congratulations on all your yeah. success, and that is absolutely beautiful work and Ruth thank you as well congrats thank on 32 years thank you okay check out the governor's art show running now through June the 11th you can learn more about these incredible artists at governorsartshow.org